Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. I'm still here in Naples streaming out of uh, Italy and as you can see Bitcoin is still trading sideways and there is still nothing much happened. Only yesterday we had here these 9k retests so currently we have a, a little confirmation that this 9k area could hold as a support but we still didn't see this uh, breakout from this wedge that we are still in here so i'm still waiting here to enter my trade because we didn't have a breakout and also we still don't have any kind of confirmations so what i'm gonna do next in case of a breakout is to do a little risky trade here over on bityard so here most likely i'm gonna go with a small amount and high leveraged in as soon as we're gonna have a breakout but only scale in a bigger position here on bybit once we're gonna have a confirmation so in case of a breakout here to the upside i'm waiting for a retest that the old resistance is now new support and there is where i'm gonna scale in a bigger position with my uh, bitcoins here on bybit but for a little risky one for a breakout trade i'm taking a bit of tether to trade it here over on bityard because here also you can trade up to 100x for example on bitcoin or any other coin that you see over here with tether so i don't have to risk my own cryptos and i can use my tether for that and uh, here in the one hour you can see that we're still trading sideways currently we're trading below all the moving averages here in the one hour we have the rsi below the 50 stochastic is coming in over sold condition so here we have still a lot of room left to the downside but of course also to the upside we could go any time up here towards the 200 moving average at around 9220 maybe even up here to retest the main resistance of 9260 but all in all i think it's better to wait right now for a breakout and not try to trade here these uh, pushes to the upside and dumps the downside between here the resistance and support because the range right now is very small and also the breakout could happen at any time soon and even if we have here a look on the bollinger band in the one hour you can see that we're squeezing within this tiny channel here macd shifted to the upside but could have a bearish cross here pretty soon so i'm still expecting here a possible retest of this 9k area so it should come down towards 9035 dollar and if we have a look on the four hour time frame here you can see that currently we are trading also here below all the moving averages the 20 currently is at 9160 if you're looking for a short position maybe scale it in from here up to the 200 where the resistance is here at 9260 if you think that we're going to break out then to the downside but also if you want to short maybe wait for a possible breakout to the downside and even better if we go up again and retest the new resistance have the confirmation that this is now the new resistance volume is kicking in and then you can open up your short position here we have the stochastic in neutral condition and rsi also trading here below the 15 the rsi so also here we are in bear mode and let's have a look also in the bollinger band in a four hour because here we are also trading the lower area macd uh, is still shifted to the downside only in case that we could go and retest this 9160 we could see here a bullish cross and that could signal a possible retest here of the resistance of the bollinger band at around 9280 to 9260 where also the main resistance is uh, lining up here for the bigger time frames and there we go now we le let's go over to the daily time frame because this is now where we have to keep a very close eye here because as you can see currently we are trading below the 20 daily moving average so we are still in bear mode here we are coming here to the end and a possible breakdown here towards the 200 daily at $8,500 is very likely and there we're gonna have to see if you're able to bounce to the upside or not because because in case that we're gonna bounce it to the upside then this could be the retest of the new resistance here of nine thousand dollar but also it could be the initial breakout here to the upside from this potential falling wedge here so i know guys it will be very hard to trade this but here i think if you do the right trades you can do a lot of gains especially if you keep an eye here on this 200 daily moving average because here i think it will be very wise to open up a long in case that we're gonna go that low because here i'm expecting an initial bounce to the upside and then a possible retest here but if you start to open up longs down here at eight thousand five hundred dollar 
then you should be okay even for a retest and for a rejection here because then you can put a stop loss here and you will get out in profits even though we would get rejected at those price levels in the daily we are coming here to oversold conditioning the stochastic and also the RSI is trading below the 50 and here we have a lot of room left to the downside so maybe if we can bring here the RSI in oversold condition and also stay above the 200 daily moving average there is a high chance that this could be the bottom for a very long time but in case that we're gonna bounce from it and get rejected here and start to trade again towards the 200 daily that could signal some weakness in the market and then a possible continuation of the dump towards our bearish target of around seven thousand two hundred to six thousand four hundred dollar also here in the bollinger band in the daily you can see that we're still trapped here in this lower area that the channel is quite tiny right now and also we are having currently a bearish cross in case that today we cannot close again above nine thousand two hundred dollar so as you can see guys we're still waiting here to open up trades we're still waiting here for a breakout and i think it's better just to wait for a possible breakout trade it otherwise just wait for a confirmation and then start to enter long or shorts and especially if you're gonna break here to the downside and retest the 200 daily maybe already now try to put maybe a small order in at this price level here of 8500 to long it because the 200 daily moving average for sure will be very important uh, for the next possible breakout possibly to the downside and just a side note uh currently i see a lot of people on youtube um pushing like altcoins like crazy and doing signals where you can uh, buy in where you can trade some and of course it is um very good to trade altcoins because there you can do very nice big gains but for the longer time frames i think and especially if you don't want to do daily trades and so on if you want to uh, make long-term trades then better maybe stay on bitcoin because altcoins are very very dangerous even though at the moment we're seeing some of the altcoins pushing like crazy uh, especially like cardano Chainlink, and so on but as you can see there is only a few altcoins that are pumping like this so if you're the lucky one that have already some of those coins or if you took those longs and so on then you have done very nicely and of course you also have to do your own research and see your own if it's wise to open up a long position or a short position because it's not really an alt season right now we only have some little altcoins that are pushing here uh, especially like chain link and don't get me wrong i'm also thinking about to buy some of them especially chain link maybe even uh, cardano but the thing is that for the longer time frames it's always good to stay in bitcoins even though with some altcoins you can do uh, some nice gains and currently i just think that on some of these uh, altcoins uh, maybe there is just a bit of fomo and hype in there and also the media is doing a lot of stuff with those coins so that's why also they um, uh, pushed to the upside the most and some other coins especially like ethereum litecoin xrp didn't see uh, such a big uh, pump uh, like we have seen in those other small cap coins so i just want to say uh, be very careful in case that you're putting a lot of money into these altcoins if you do this swing trades or these little daily trades uh, or just pattern trades where you uh, see a pattern and then trade it then okay but for the longer term be very careful i would still keep my money especially in these three top altcoins like ethereum maybe also xrp or litecoin if you like that but mostly bitcoin and also some ethereum for the long term you should be doing fine so be very careful in case that you're putting a lot of money in there there is a lot of FOMO going on right now and i'm just trying not to get into that train and if you're really interested in some projects maybe wait for the next dump and then maybe buy some and don't fomo in into uh, rallies and with that said guys i'm going to wrap it up for now don't forget to subscribe to the 10 dollar worth of bitcoin giveaway that is uh, uh, in the video in the sign up video that is popping up at the end of this video where it says subscription video uh, there you have to put a comment and your bitcoin address uh, at the end of this week so maybe later on today or tomorrow uh, i'm gonna do the live stream on twitch and then put it also here on youtube so we're gonna select the winner of that giveaway and we do this giveaway every week so make sure to tune in here on youtube every day uh, subscribe to the channel here leave a like and if you have twitch you can also follow me over on twitch and i have also discord trading chat 
it's for free everyone is welcome and here we have a very nice community and also when there are news or updates i'm gonna uh, put it also here on discord so you have it always in real time and uh, of course if you also want to take advantage of these swings and you want to go long or short with tether or with your cryptos like bitcoin ethereum eos or xrp then i very recommend you buy bit this is the exchange that i use the most and also bityard bityard you can also trade with tether without using your own cryptos all right guys if you need all of these uh, links to sign up to those exchanges uh, you find them all down below here in the video description with my links you can get some sign up pony and also you support the channel currently 90 dollars on uh, bybit 72 dollars on femex where you can also trade chain link or gold for example and btr where you can trade all different cryptos also chain link with your tether here you can get depending on your trading volume up to 258 dollars thank you very much my friends for watching best regards from italy and we see us all in the next one bye